back and I'm going to install this to the trailer. So this is part two. Uh, so what you can see is on the driver's side, the other tail light is still there. Um, on the passenger side, uh, that's the side that I clipped off when I was backing into that little corner there. So we're just going to put this into that spot. Uh, one thing that I need to be clear is uh, we're missing the ground wire that it used to have. So one thing that I'm going to make sure is I need to check continuity. So at the end of these studs, I've actually grounded off down here as much as possible to make it down to bare steel. Um, it's always best to kind of put sandpaper or something to just make sure it's perfectly clean and then once I'm done that I'm going to use this uh, dielectric tune-up grease just stick it on top um, of my bolt and and then call it good and then I'm going to check overall everything is working so without further ado I will install this right now so first things first make sure your bolt spacing is good and it matches so when I do that, it looks good. Um, I had an existing grounding bolt there, so that's why it's kind of offset. I'm not going to fix that because I don't really want to spend too much time on this. Uh, but if, if you're doing it properly, you would definitely grind that off or make sure that it doesn't uh, prevent you from actually mounting things straight. So anyways, let's do this. So first things first, put your lock washer down and then put your nut on afterwards. I'm just going to do finger tight first because I want to set everything good. So let me find that. Nope, that's not the right thing. Sorry, just bear with me. I'm just trying to find my washer in my pocket and nut. There's the wrench. Okay, here we go. So here's the second one. Same thing. Lock washer goes on first, then your actual screw or your nut. Put the doggy bags away. So. What are you doing, silly? So what we're going to do is bolt this down. This one I'm going to tie down pretty tight just because I need that friction for continuity. So. I might wrench on it quite a bit more than usual. Um, but if you wanted to avoid all this grounding issue, this electrical issue, uh, I would highly recommend that you just get a grounding cable and tie it into the actual interior housing. So that means opening up the bell housing and attaching a ground wire directly to it but this should be fine. So, it is pretty snug. Okay, now for the other side. Okay, so that is snug. What I'm gonna do now is put my dielectric grease which is here and dab some onto that make sure that corrosion isn't a, an issue later so I'm gonna put quite a bit on just because this is all exposed and I don't want any issues in the future if not and if I do have any problems in the future I will definitely run a grounding wire. 
So benefits of using this grease uh, prevents water from going in and causing corrosion and messing up your resistance which causes you to not have working lights. Okay. So, if you notice that my pigtail's here, um, my, my male end's actually hidden inside the chassis here, so all I have to do is click this in, and we're set. So, what I'm going to do later is bring my truck around and try the wiring, make sure that everything's good. Actually, I'll probably do that in the next video. Alright, see you guys later.